Thank you for choosing LiftMaster. This video provides an overview of the steps for installing the IPAC telephone entry system. This video is intended for demonstration purposes only. Please consult the manual for complete instructions and safety information. Before installation, be sure to complete a site survey to avoid problems and delays during installation. Typically, wiring and cabling has already been completed before installing the unit. This includes an Ethernet cable for connecting to the facility's network, a grounding wire, and power wiring. The IPAC is supplied with a coaxial cable and antenna. It's a good idea to route this cable before starting. Remove the unit and place it face down in the carton. Identify which knockouts need to be removed based on your application. For this installation, we'll punch four knockouts for mounting and the center knockout for wiring. Do not use a punch tool longer than one inch. This will prevent damage to components inside the unit. Use pliers to remove the metal knockout tabs. The passport receiver may need to be temporarily detached in order to facilitate mounting using certain knockouts. Gaskets are provided to ensure the unit is properly sealed. Peel and stick the gaskets in place. The IPAC needs to be securely mounted to a flat surface or pedestal. Position the unit and mark the mounting hole locations. This will allow you to drill pilot holes if needed. Secure the IPAC to the surface using the appropriate hardware for your application. Reattach the passport receiver if necessary. Complete the following internal wiring before connecting power to the IPAC. Connect the supplied coaxial antenna cable to the passport receiver. Clamp the supplied ferrite core onto the Ethernet cable, then plug the cable into the RJ45 LAN connector. Splice the supplied ground wire to a 12 gauge or larger ground wire, then attach to the ground lug on the inside of the unit. Connect mag locks, door strikes or gate operators to the relay. Refer to the manual for complete wiring information. Connect minimum 18 gauge wire to the power terminal on the relay board. When internal wiring is complete, close the unit. Complete the external wiring as follows. Mount the antenna to the bracket and attach the coaxial cable. Attach the ground wire to a good grounding source, such as an earth ground rod that is located within 12 feet of the unit. Connect the ethernet cable to your facility's network by plugging into a modem, router, or switch. Complete any wiring connections to a gate operator, mag lock, or door strike. The power outlet must be an external, dedicated 120 volt AC outlet located within 250 feet of the IPAC. This outlet should be on its own circuit with a minimum 10 amp circuit breaker. Connect the wires to the transformer and plug into the AC outlet. The hardware setup is complete. To configure the network settings, open the unit and locate the config switch on the peripheral board. Move switch number one to the on position for program mode. Then close and lock the faceplate. For this video, we will set up the IPAC in standalone mode. Enter the network settings from the information gathered on the site survey and press save. Press the network diagnostics tab to confirm the settings and check the network connection. Press the Network Diagnostics tab to confirm the settings and check the status of the network connections. To exit the programming mode, open the faceplate and move the config switch number 1 to off. Continue the configuration by accessing the IPAC from your computer. Open a browser window and type the assigned IP address for the IPAC into the address bar. Upon initial connection, the end user license agreement will be displayed. Read the agreement and click I accept. The login page will open. Enter the default username of admin. Leave the password blank. Click login. The welcome page will be displayed. Set up an administrator account by creating a new admin username and password. Enter the community name and the admin information. Complete the setup of the community by adding gates, doors, and residents. For details about how to complete your community setup, Consult the manual or watch our other support videos. Thank you for choosing LiftMaster. Learn more about our access control solutions when you visit us on the web at liftmaster.com access control.